Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Big Mac, and I am back with yet another video. Um, like with the majority of my videos, this is going to be WoW-based. Um, simply because it's something I spend a fair amount of time on, and something a lot of people enjoy. Um, <clears throat> this one is going to be about the quote-unquote WoW killers. I have heard so many things just say, "Oh yeah, we're gonna dethrone them. We're gonna knock them off their pedestal." We're going to be the wild killers. Doubtful. Um, we do have some strong contenders. We have Rift. We've got <laughs> Guild Wars 2. We've got Knights of the Old Republic. We've got DC Universe Online. And, you know, they're some pretty strong contenders. Rift has, uh, they've got the Rift system, which, if you don't know what that is, it's where these giant gaping holes open in the sky and a bunch of enemies walk out. And you can lose towns that way because they grow and they just destroy everything. Uh, DC Universe has an amazing combat system. They have a wonderful uh, traveling system. You know, you could get super speed. You can get flight. You could fly around Gotham City and destroy bad guys or blow up cop cars. You know, they have an amazing character creation system. It's one of the best I've honestly ever seen. Uh, Guild Wars 2 has... they've completely redone the thing. They've they've broken the common bounds of a MMO or even an RPG period in that they don't have de designated tanks or healers. Yeah. <laughs> everybody can heal themselves and everybody can heal others, but they don't have a designated healer. How that works, I'm not sure, but it works. Um, as well as a incredibly well done combat system where you can make like if a mage makes a wall of fire a ranger could shoot arrows through and get flaming arrows. Or a warrior can run a sword through and just start hacking people away with a flaming sword. Pretty cool. Um, Knights of the Old Republic is done by Bioware, so you can guarantee it's going to have an amazing story. And these are all the potential WoW killers. Are they going to kill WoW? I don't think so, no. The reasoning behind this is WoW has 12 million subscribers, 12 million plus subscribers. They have over six years of development in WoW, and the company itself has 20 years of a legacy. They are, they are far and away one of the best gaming companies in the world, on par with companies such as DICE, on par with just these these amazing companies. It was big enough that Activision bought it out and instead of being a branch of Activision, it became Activision Blizzard. It, it was really more of a merger than a buyout. And just the the quality of stuff they put out in the, the increasing raising of the bar over the course of six years, seeing as originally MMOs sucked. They were bad. And then Blizzard came out and said, here's World of Warcraft. And everybody's like, oh my god. Speaking of which, people who bitch about hardcore raiding now, ask any old vanilla raider about back in the days of dealing with Cthulhu. Okay, if they don't immediately get like Vietnam style flashbacks of doing Cthulhu trash, not to mention the actual Cthulhu fight, Farming the nature resistance stuff, doing the actual opening of the encourage, opening of the gates, which was undoubtedly the biggest in game event ever. <laughs> and just just ask them about it. Or the old Nax Ramus, which made Nax 2.0 look like a joke, which it was. Ugh, I, didn't even, I didn't even raid back in vanilla. I didn't even play back in vanilla, and I thought knew Max Ramos was a joke. Anywho, uh, <laughs> sorry, I go off on tangents like that. Um, the Wild Killers, there's a very small chance that they're going to steal even even a good chunk of the fan base. They're, they're going to lose fans when stuff like Knights of the Old Republic comes out. They're going to lose a good chunk of fans, and they're probably, Knights of the Old Republic is probably going to do very well. But in the end, it doesn't have a six-year legacy. In the end, it doesn't have this overwhelming system set up to keep the game good and running. 
it doesn't have it. It's just, it, and it's not going to get it for a very long time. You can say all you want. Oh yeah, they're they're amazing. Yeah, that may be the case, but you have to remember, there's a lot of fans who have a lot of time, effort, and all of that just put into this game. The amount of time it takes to get gear, the amount of time it takes to get to level, the amount of time it gets to, it takes to get these mounts, the titles, the professions up. If you say, if you can honestly say, oh yeah, I have my professions completely done. Let's say you have every blacksmith thing pattern in the game. That's freaking impressive. But you can say, I have 120 mounts. That's scary. And impressive. <laughs> I have 15 titles, including Astral Walker and Bane of the Fallen King. You scare me, but you're awesome. <laughs> and um, it's just stuff like that that makes me think it's probably not going to go. Uh, anyway, that's all I have for right now. Um, thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't like it. That's what the thumbs are there for. Uh, leave a comment. I love reading comments, and I especially love reading comments on my page. Uh, subscribe. There's the little button at about here. Yeah, <laughs> uh, should be right about there. Um, doesn't take a lot, and I'm gonna keep putting out videos for you guys because you guys apparently like watching. Um, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Bigmo. Good night, and good hunting.